What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to back up your old iPhone and restore it to the brand new iPhone 10. Now for this video, I'm gonna be using the iPhone 8 Plus. I'm gonna be transferring all the data from this phone over to the brand new iPhone 10. But of course, this will work for any other iPhone. Now this is gonna allow you to retain all your contacts, all your text messages, all your applications, your pictures, basically everything. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I have not even gone through the initial setup process on the iPhone 10 just yet. So you're gonna see that process here as well. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the old iPhone and go to settings, click right here to iCloud, iCloud backup, and you're going to want to make sure you have a recent backup. So you can see right here, my last successful backup was at 4.06 a.m. So that was a pretty long time ago. I'm going to go ahead and back up right now just so I have as up to date, uh, make, just to make sure I have everything possible, everything new from this device transferred over to the brand new iPhone 10. Now, of course, this should not take too long, but it will depend on the last time you backed up your device and how much data is actually being backed up. So while we're waiting on that, I'm just going to go ahead through the initial setup screen on here. So we're going to go to English. United States. And then we have quick start right here. So you can see it says, if you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. Of course, we do have one right here. This is running iOS 11. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that to come up. So this is backed up now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lock this and re-unlock it and see if we get the prompt. There we go, we do get the prompt right there. So if you don't get it right away, just lock the device and come back and you should get the prompt right here to set up the new iPhone. Now, of course, this does only work if you are on iOS 11, so keep that in mind. Now you can set this up manually, but it's a lot quicker to do it this way. So let's go ahead and click on continue on the old iPhone. So you can see right there, we have to hold your new iPhone up to the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and take the old iPhone and basically just scan this little barcode right here. Sorry, it's off camera right now. But basically all we're doing is scanning that little barcode right there and it's going to make sure everything is transferred on over. So now it wants us to enter the passcode of the old iPhone. So we can go ahead and enter that in and it's gonna set up the device. So you can see it just went through the activation screen right there as well for the new iPhone 10. And now we do have Face ID here. So this is brand new, of course, for the iPhone 10 since it is the first Apple device with Face ID. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up. So it says first position your face in the camera frame, then move your head in a circle to show all angles of your face. So you can see right here, you can see me. I'm gonna take this off screen, but you can see basically how it works right there. So let's go ahead and do that again. And I'm gonna do this off camera, but I just wanted you guys to see basically what the setup screen looks like. So you can see I finished my first scan right there of my face. Basically all you have to do is move your face, move your head around in a circle so it picks up all angles of your face. So now we're gonna go ahead and do another one. And there we go, that's all there is to it. Very, very simple. So let's go ahead and click on continue. And you can see it is setting up the Apple ID right now. We do also have finishing up on new iPhone over here on the old iPhone. So you can see right here, it shows the iPhone 8 Plus backup. It shows it was backed up, blah, blah, blah. So you could do an update right before backing up, but I don't need to, I basically just did it. So we're gonna go ahead and restore from November 23rd, or November 3rd backup, excuse me. That's the one we just did, just at the very beginning of this video. So you can see right here now on the old iPhone, we are done. So we can go ahead and click on continue and we're pretty much done with that old iPhone now. So let's go ahead and click on agree to the terms, agree. So you can restore the settings from your backup, which I'd recommend you do. So go ahead and click on continue on that. Apple Pay, you can go ahead and set that up if you want. I'm gonna set that up later in the wallet. You can go ahead and enable Siri. And again, on the iPhone 10, you're gonna press and hold on the power button now to do that instead of the home button like you did on previous iPhones. All right, so we just set up Hey Siri right there, very quick and simple. You can go ahead and share app analytics. I never do this. And now we have the True Tone display. So you can tap and hold right here to see what it's like with and without True Tone. I really like True Tone display. This is on the iPhone 8 as well. Go ahead and keep that enabled. Go ahead and click on continue. And now we got an error showing cannot restore backup. So I'm not too sure what that's all about. So we'll go ahead and try to figure that out in this video. Click on continue. All right, so I got the error saying it cannot restore from backup and it will not let me go any further in the phone. So what I did was I pressed and held on the power button and then I clicked on restart or start over. And then it basically made me erase everything on the iPhone. So now we're gonna start over again. So now we're gonna start over and I'll see you guys where we left off. All right guys, so we are back to the screen and I figured out what happened. So what happened is that I am on iOS 11.2 beta one on my iPhone 8 plus and I forgot you do need to be on the same or the lower version of iOS in order to restore from a backup. So that should not be an issue, but if you are on iOS 11.2, 11.2 or something higher than the iPhone 10 is, you will need to make a backup from a lower version of iOS. So you will need to downgrade and then make a backup. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna go to don't share, true tone display, continue, and then it shows software update. So it's gonna make us install the latest software, which is iOS 11.1 right here on the iPhone 10. So this will take a minute. So I will be back when this is finished and I will show you that everything was transferred over from this device to the brand new iPhone 10. All right, so we are back and you can see here that we did update to iOS 11.1 here on the iPhone 10. And then it will update our iCloud settings and then we should be pretty much good to go. All right, so now it is going through the restore process, restoring from iCloud. Now, again, what happened earlier was that this iPhone right here, the iPhone I was backing up from, the iPhone 8 Plus, was on a higher iOS version than the iPhone 10. So that's not gonna work. You can't transfer data from a higher iOS version to a lower iOS version. So just keep that in mind. Now, of course, you can also restore once you already get into the device and you can also restore from iTunes as well. Those are two other options, but this is just the simplest way the way I showed you. So now we are going through 
through the final process here on the iPhone 10, and then we should be good to go. We should get straight to the home screen after this. So now we get the hello screen again. Let's go ahead and swipe up, restore complete, continue. So it shows you how to do some things. So it shows you to swipe up from the bottom edge at any time to return home. Then it shows how to switch between recent apps. So it's basically just showing you how to do things on the iPhone 10, since of course a lot of this is gesture based and it's all brand new to iPhone users. Quickly access controls to so swipe down from the top right edge to open control center. That's going to take some getting used to for sure. And then there we go. Welcome to iPhone. So now we are on the home screen. We get a carrier update right there as well. And now you should have all of your messages, all your applications, everything from your old device. Now, again, I had an issue with this, so I did restore from my iPhone 8 right here. So it's going to be everything from this iPhone 8 instead of the 8 plus again, because the iPhone 8 plus was on iOS 11.2 and this was on a lower version. So I opted to restore from the iPhone 8 backup, which is on 11.0.3. So you can see everything is identical to what I backed up right there. Again, it's going to work perfectly fine for you. So you can see we'll have all the text messages and everything right there from the backup, all the applications, all the contacts, all the photos, everything. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. That is how to transfer data from your old device to your brand new iPhone 10 without losing anything. Hope you did enjoy it. If you have any questions at all, make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below and I will help you out. And if this video helped you out at all, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more helpful content like this on the iPhone 10. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.